Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Anna Marie Strawhan here with Pastor Gino Shaw. And we are in Chesapeake, Virginia. And we are on the corner of um, Centerville Turnpike Road and Mount Pleasant Road. It's a main uh, central area of Chesapeake, Virginia. We are getting ready to do a land prayer assignment over the city of Chesapeake, Virginia. And we're also gonna be speaking over the entire state of Virginia, uh, praying for the nation as well. It's just starting to drizzle here and uh, we've got all of our supplies and we're getting ready to pray. And we found a beautiful oak tree here on the corner that uh, we can uh, apply the blood of Jesus Christ and the anointing, but you can see where we are here. And uh, I've already done uh, some prayer across the street years ago it was very powerful we got an open heaven and uh, it is just starting to rain a little bit we're under a beautiful oak tree and so pastor gina let's welcome everyone hello everybody <laughs> all right hi and so uh pastor gino and i had a nice lunch meeting we were talking about all the things that we felt like we needed to pray for over this uh city of Chesapeake, Virginia, Virginia Beach, the state of Virginia, our nation. Um, and so just join us here. We got some people joining us. And as we're praying, I've got all my supplies here in my truck. I've got my shofar. We've got some new bread here. We've got some new uh, grape juice. We're gonna speak the new wine. And we're also going to blow the shofar. So, so Gino, do you wanna hold the phone or do you wanna- oh, no, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So Gina's got some longer arms. <laughs> there we go. I'm glad you have this. Uh, and then, oh, we can't go sideways. I don't know if we sideways. can. There we, no, I'll stay I like think this. we got to stay. I'll stay like if this. If we try to go sideways, I think it'll mess up the video. Okay. We'll stay like this. Yeah. I think it's going to have to stay like that. Okay. So everybody's getting on here right now. Y'all getting on here. Let's see here. Pastor Gino, do we got the peeps coming on? I see, we're uh, live. Let's see, we got we're seven live. people. We got seven okay, people. all right. Just join us in prayer. Join us in agreement. I, I'm not using the land kit. I'm going to be using uh, my prayers, what I usually do. And um, so Pastor Gina's going to try to hold the phone while we pray. Mm -hmm. Okay. And basically what I'm going to do is we're going to take us into the courts of heaven take the uh, Chesapeake into the courts of heaven, then we're going to get our communion, okay? We're trying to stay under the tree as much as we can, and uh, it's the drizzling rain is, is like the blessing of the Lord, Amen. isn't it, Pastor? Amen. It sure is. So, all right, see, we're seeing our peeps here. Okay. All right. So, uh, Anna Marie here, your prophetic intercessor, Pastor Gino Shaw, to get, make sure he gets in the camera here. <laughs> we're both here, and Pastor Gino and I, Pastor Gino and I, are praying over the city of Chesapeake, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And we're in the central part of the city and um, we're on the corner of Centerville Turnpike Road and Mount Pleasant Road. And I'm telling you, my friends, the, this, is, this is just a powerful time uh, in America for us to do land prayer assignments. Uh, President Donald J. Trump will be uh, speaking here at a rally tomorrow uh, uh, in, in, here in Chesapeake. This road goes straight up to where he's going to be speaking. Um, and one of the main things that we want to pray about Chesapeake, Virginia, is for revival, for revival for Jesus Christ. And there's some things we have to repent for first. So Pastor Gino and I, before we start communion, uh, we're going to do repentance. All right. So there we go. We got everybody up here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Very good. Very good. Okay. So just follow along with me and Pastor Gino as we pray. And uh, you can take communion with us. We give you time to get your communion supplies. And uh, we are going to be praying underneath this large oak tree, um, Oaks of Righteousness. And this is where we're going to be putting the Lord's shadows right here under the tree and um, make a marker. And those of you who have learned how to do land prayer assignments with us, um, you can learn how to do them yourself on my site at Anna Marie Strohan. Com. Okay, so Pastor Gino, I guess we should go ahead and just start the prayer. 
uh, and then I can get the communion cups ready. And Pastor Gino, is there anything you want to say to the peeps while I get the Sure, welcome everybody. I'm glad you guys are here with us live. Um, Father God, I just like to uh, just thank you for this time. Thank you for this fellowship. Thank you for this live that's going on right now. Hallelujah. Father God, we just cover this with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, Lord. Hallelujah. May this go out to the nations. May it go out to everyone that, that needs to see this, you know. Uh, I know the church has been going through some trying times in these past few days, these past few weeks. But you know what? We're here. We're standing in the gap for Virginia. We're standing in the gap for uh, Chesapeake. You know, we're standing in the gap for United States of America. You know, for such a time as this. Amen. So we're here. We're boots on the ground. We're getting ready to get started here. And um, yes. we're just happy that you're with us. We're happy yes. that you're oh, with us. Yeah. And so everyone, um, I'm just with my truck here getting prepared. I've got my dessert fork that I just start mm -hmm. with. This is my 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 homemade land assignment kit. Um, and I just, we're just gonna dig a hole over there to get ready. And I've got the uh, Pastor Gino and my communion ready that we're gonna pray over. Okay. And um, I've got um, the, uh, Bread, and I'm going to get that ready. And um, the Lord told me, uh, of course, we're going to have the anointing oil. We'll be pouring the anointing oil. I'm getting my supplies ready for that. And the Lord told me to pour something special into the ground. And I've got the anointing oil here ready to pour it. Um, first, we start with the repentance. Okay, going all the way back to the birth of this city. we got to ask the Lord to open up the courts of heaven. We're going to, we're going to repent over this city and all the sins. And then uh, we're going to get the communion in the land. And then we're going to bless and rededicate this city with the oil. And um, and we're going to ask the Lord to just expand it out to the state of Virginia. And then the Lord gave me something special. Uh, since President Trump is going to be coming into Chesapeake tomorrow, um, I happen to have this. The Lord was talking about having the sweet for the bitter, right? I, I was starting with my dessert fork to... to dig the hole and then I got this beautiful jar of Trump honey uh, from a dear friend that sent that from my birthday and it was on my desk before I left and the Lord said I want you to pour the honey into the ground and proclaim the sweetness of the Lord and uh, his sweet savor of his 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 heart to come into the land and so we're going to be pouring some honey into the land just as a prophetic act of faith okay and um, course I have my shofar here and we'll be sounding the, the trumpet of the Lord and um, uh, co commanding the gates of righteousness to open we are under a righteous oak and for the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ to overtake the city and the King of glory to come in and the Lord of hosts according to Psalm 24 so this is like my basic kit that I do and um, we're just about we're about ready to go here. I just have to get the bread ready. And Pastor Gino, is there anything else that you wanted to uh, speak over as everybody's coming on right now? Yeah. Again, we just want to bless you guys coming on. And um, as you guys know, uh, President Trump will be here tomorrow. Matter of fact, uh, I know it's getting kind of loud with the traffic, but we just saw an FBI truck just came by. So they're, they're prepping, they're getting stuff ready as well. And uh, so yeah, we found this nice oak tree that we're gonna operate under. And um, yeah, I think we're ready. You want me to get started with uh, repentance? Yep. All right, so, wait, there we go. So, so we're gonna be in for this tree, Pastor Gino, if you wanna move in a little bit. And okay. I'm gonna ask the Lord to, Father God, to open up yes. his heavenly courts mm -hmm. uh, in repentance. We just, um, Make sure that you are all suited up in your armor of God. We're going to start with our armor of God, and uh, then we're going to apply the blood of Jesus Christ to ourselves, and uh, then we're going to ask the Lord to open up his heavenly courts. Okay, again, we're coming to you live from Chesapeake, Virginia, and uh, praying over this city and the state of Virginia, and, of course, uh, asking King Jesus to come in and take dominion with the angel armies of the Lord and speaking prophetically over this city and over this state of Virginia, God's plans and purposes. Okay, so 
Pastor Gino and I, we take our seat of authority uh -huh. in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your gracious word. According to Ephesians chapter 2, we do now take our seat of authority at your right hand, Father God, in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus, where we rule and reign as kings and priests in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus, of the priestly kingly order of Melchizedek, giving us all authority in Christ Jesus to pray and speak over the land. Father God, we thank you for this gift of authority. We thank you for the keys to the kingdom of heaven, or to your government, according to Isaiah 22, 22. We thank you, Lord, as we take these keys and we use them in prayer, in intercession. Father God, your word says that we are kings and priests through Christ Jesus. So we make decrees and declarations and commands and in the name of Jesus Christ, and they are carried out for us. And we also, as priests, we make intercession for others and stand in the gap for uh, the, our, our, our cities, our states, our nation, the land, our families, our children and each other so we we are in our priesthood and in our kingship right now we thank you jesus for your precious blood and we thank you jesus for your finished work on the cross that gives us all access to these uh gifts from from heaven and of the kingdom of god we come in the name of the lord jesus christ we have on our whole armor of god uh, pastor gino and i we have on our shoes of the gospel of peace we come in peace and we come with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand firm in our faith. We have on our belt of truth. We are girded in the truth of our God. The Lord gives us a compass on our belt that points us to the kingdom of God. We will not grow weary. We will not grow faint. We stand strong in the Lord in the power of his might. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. Our hearts are guarded. Our souls are guarded. Our spirits are guarded. The Lord God himself is our rear guard. The Lord God himself goes before us. The Lord God himself is here with us. And he is beside us in this moment. And we put on our helmet of salvation. We have the mind of Christ and the blood of Christ. And we, we command every thought in our mind to come under the obedience of Jesus Christ. We have our sword of the spirit, the word of God. And Father God, that you give us remembrance of your word. Your Holy Spirit will come upon Pastor Gino and I. And we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and be with us today and speak the word through us today give us utterance because we are as ambassadors of the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ's name. Above all, Pastor Gino and I, we take our shield of faith and we quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Any tongue or finger that rises against us, the Lord condemns and we condemn. And no one can curse whom the Lord has blessed and the Lord has blessed us. And we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come. We invite you, King Jesus, to come and be with us today. And as everyone here is touching and agreeing with our prayers over Chesapeake Virginia it is written if two or more agree touching a thing it will be done for them so father that these prayers that Pastor Gino and I pray and speak today we have everyone here in agreement Lord we are in expectation of your signs wonders miracles in Chesapeake Virginia the state of Virginia and in our nation amen in amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. amen amen okay so you know um you know how's how's your arm doing <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, okay. I'm so, still good, though. I'm still I good. I should have brought my tripod. We're going to try to find a way to set the phone here, and hopefully it will stay uh, while Pastor Gino and I pray and go in the courts of heaven. All right, I'm going to set the phone right here. You can see um, the tree in the background. I'm going to speak as loud as I can speak. So come on up here, Pastor Gino, while we go into the court of heaven. All right. Okay, because these land assignments are a legal transaction on earth as it is in heaven, we're asking for the blood of Jesus Christ to speak on the mercy seat in the court of heaven. And we're coming before God as righteous judge, okay, uh, because he is the one that judges the land. He is the one that judges the sins of the land. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, these sins can be completely erased and this land can be redeemed and the plans and purposes of God can go forth. And we're making a legal, legal transaction today. So because of Jesus Christ, we have everything that the kingdom of God has to offer and we can approach Father God as righteous judge in the courts of heaven through the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? All right. Here we go, Pastor Gino. Heavenly Father, Father God, Pastor Gino and I and everyone here that is listening, 
we ask to enter your heavenly courts and come before your throne as you, you are our righteous judge, almighty God. And today, we ask as we come through the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would hear our prayers and petitions on behalf of the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia today, Father God, before your heavenly court. We ask for the books to be open for the city of Chesapeake and for the state of Virginia. And we ask for the cloud of witnesses to be seated and the angels of the Lord on assignment. We ask you, Holy Spirit, that uh, you would be with Pastor Gino and I today to flow whatever needs to be said and uh, be our witness. And King Jesus, we ask that your blood would speak on the, on the mercy seat and that King Jesus, you would be our advocate. And if there is any accusations of the accuser uh, that would come against Pastor Gino and I and any accusations of the accuser that is coming against the city of Chesapeake, Chesapeake or the state of Virginia, that that would be revealed to us so that we can repent. So King Jesus, we ask you to help us to the repentance. So Father God, as we come before you as righteous judge, Pastor Gino and I repent for our personal sins. We ask for grace, mercy, and forgiveness. We ask you, Father God, that you would forgive us of our sins, our personal sins, as we do this personal prayer of repentance. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask for the Lord Jesus Christ to put his blood on all my sins and all of Pastor Gino's sins as we come into this time to pray for this city and this state of Chesapeake, Virginia, Virginia Beach, Virginia, with a pure and clean heart that are, although our sins are scarlet, they've been washed as white as snow by the blood of Jesus. Father God, we ask that the blood of Jesus Christ right now would speak a better word for Pastor Gino and I and for our family bloodlines. It's all covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And Pastor Gino and I are completely redeemed and cleansed, including our bloodlines. And the accuser cannot use anything against us as we pray for the city of Chesapeake, Virginia and Virginia Beach, Virginia. Father God, if there is any sins uh, with Pastor Gino and I or our ancestors that happened in the state of Virginia or in Chesapeake, Virginia, we repent for those right now and we ask Jesus to put his blood on that. And Father God, that Pastor Gino and I and our ancestors are completely released of all consequences of these sins by the blood of Jesus. We thank you for that, Father God. And now we come before you to repent for the city of Chesapeake, Virginia and the state of Virginia, uh, completely cleansed, purified, and ready to repent uh, before you. Uh, standing in the gap as ambassadors of reconciliation for this city of Chesapeake, Virginia and the state of Virginia before your holy throne in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Total agreement. Is there anything that you want to speak about uh, uh, the repentance or anything like that? Some time of repentance? Yeah, Lord, we, we just come together. You know, we just uh, repent um, uh, for any ill gotten gains. We just repent for any uh, contracts that, that may have been broken, uh, you know, o over this land. And uh, we just, you know, we speak peace over this land over this atmosphere we just speak peace right now in mighty jesus name it was drizzling when we first got here and now it's it's not drizzling rain it's given us a moment to pray no i so, think that, that was i think that was a a, a go light from uh yeah from a go light yeah uh, a light and they're putting up lights around this little bank parking lot they're putting up lights right now so heavenly father father god righteous judge pastor gino and i mm -hmm. come before you as intercessors for yes. the city of chesapeake yes. and for the state of virginia yes. and even for our nation of the united states of america as virginia was one of the first original 13 colonies and uh as the books are open for chesapeake virginia and uh state of virginia we repent for this city of chesapeake for the sins of the city of Chesapeake, mm -hmm. the sins of its leaders, mm -hmm. the sins of its people, mm -hmm. the sins of anyone who passed through here, all the way back to its birth. We repent for the state of Virginia, the sins of its leaders, the sins of its people, the sins of any of those who passed through the state of Virginia, even all the way to its shores, all the way back to its birth. Father God, we come before you with a humble heart and we repent for all the sins 
of the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, going all the way back to its birth, all the way back to its creation. We repent for any idolatry, witchcraft. We uh, repent for any uh, uh, ill-gotten gains, like mm -hmm. Gino said, that was a big thing. Greed, mm -hmm. repent for slavery and racism. Mm -hmm. We repent, Father God, for sins against children, abortion. We repent, Father God, for any blood sacrifices or blood curses yeah, that were right. ever done mm -hmm. on this land of Chesapeake, Virginia, all the way to its borders, and also the state of Virginia, Father God. That this would expand out as we repent. And Father, in the name of Jesus, as Gino and I are both citizens of the state of Virginia and the United States of America, as we all stand in the gap for all of the citizens of this city of Chesapeake and Virginia, we repent and stand in the gap for their sins. We repent and stand in the gap for the sins of those in the church. We repent for the sins of those in the government of Chesapeake, Virginia and Virginia. We repent for the sins of those in the school system yes. and the justice system, yes. Father God. We repent, Father God, for um, any type of corruption that has happened in the government uh, in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, in the state of Virginia. We repent for all secret societies and re Freemasonry. Repent for any unholy, ungodly covenants uh, in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and Virginia. We repent, Father God, uh, for sins against you, Father. All sins against your word that uh, happened in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia and also in the surrounding cities in the state of Virginia. Father God, most of all, we repent, Father God, for uh, anything, Father God, that not only comes against your word, but anything, Father God, that was done to uh, bring people into propaganda, bring people away from you, to bring confusion, um, anything that is drawing children or families away from you, God, uh, through through laws, through propaganda, through media, even things that are done in the church, Father God, we repent for those unholy, ungodly practices and anything that ever happened in the city of Chesapeake, in the state of Virginia, to use propaganda, mind control, um, uh, lies, corruption, confusion, discord to to cause uh, cause the children and the families to turn away from you father God and we repent for that right now in the name of Jesus Christ we ask right now for grace mercy and forgiveness father through the blood of Jesus Christ that all these sins that we are confessing right now for the city of Chesapeake Virginia and the state of Virginia be all covered now in the blood of Jesus Christ. Pastor Gino, is there any other sins that you think we need to repent of and as we ask the Holy Spirit to help us? Well, I, I was just getting a picture of, uh, you know, Cain and Abel. And you know how Abel's blood is a witness. Abel's blood cries out. But you know what satisfies that cry is the blood of Jesus. Amen. We repent in the blood of Jesus that we're going to pour out here in just a little bit. The precious blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And yeah, we just repent for any and all. We, we, we repent for any um, agreements that was made without you. Mm -hmm. Any agreements that was made with the, uh, the evil one, Lord. We just repent. We stand in the gap mm -hmm. for wherever uh, these agreements uh, were made. Any agreements that were made with um, cults any agreements that were made with, frankly, just evil organizations, Lord. We repent right now. We repent you, right Lord. now, in Jesus' name. King Jesus, we just ask you to stand in the gap for us right now as our, as our intercessor, for it is written that you are at the right hand of Father God, interceding for us day and night, night and day. There's a great cloud of witnesses and a, a great company of angels that surround the throne of Father God and your throne, Father God in your throne, King Jesus. And Father God, as they are witnessing to these prayers today, we ask King Jesus to just come
cover anything with his blood that we have not confessed today that needs to be confessed. Every single sinful thing against you that was ever done in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, going all the way back to its creation, all the way back to its birth, all the way back to its founding, and even before, even with Native peoples, Father God, we repent for all of it in the name of Jesus Christ. We repent for any broken treaties, any ill-gotten gains, Father God, any land grabs, and we just ask you, Jesus, to put that all under your precious blood. Father God, we want your original plans and purposes to come forth for Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia. King Jesus, you are our champion. We ask you now that you would speak on behalf of the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, on behalf of the state of Virginia, that you would speak victory over us, that you would intercede over this state for the plans and purposes of God the Father. Originally, what, what Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia were created for, for your plans and purposes, Father God. And that all these sins that we're confessing today are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And Father, that if there's anything that we have forgotten to repent for, that King Jesus would cover it with his blood completely. And if there's any accusations of the accuser, Satan, that he is still using against the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, against the state of Virginia, against the government uh, here, and against the people, Father King Jesus, that you would cover that in your blood right now, and that your blood, King Jesus, would speak a better word from the mercy seat, speaking grace, mercy, and forgiveness. And Father, you would release the state of Virginia and the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and its people from any consequences of these sins so that the blessings in your plans and purposes come forth. And we are going to apply the blood of Jesus Christ over this land. And that, Father, you would raise up people of righteousness into this place. And we're just going to wait just a minute and see if there's any accusations coming from the accuser, Satan, into the courts of heaven. The word Satan means accuser. And, um, we just ask you, Holy Spirit, if there is anything that the accuser is using against the city of Chesapeake. Okay, and I just let you input right here, just by the blood of Jesus and the blood of Jesus, we just declare to the enemy, let my people go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them go. Jesus. Father God, we just ask right now because of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, that all the power of the devil is broken off of Chesapeake, Virginia, and off of Virginia, and off of all the peoples, all the broken off all the children. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm hearing again, money and greed, money and greed. That there were deals made. Well, that that's the root of and everything. And I'm sitting in a bank parking lot. Uh huh. There were uh, uh, unholy, ungodly deals made, underhanded, ill-gotten gains made over the years. Yes, Father, just uh, forgive for any broken contracts. Forgive for uh, the the greed of money, the uh, the temptation, and the. Uh, people have come into agreement with that. We break that off right now. Yes. We just repent of it right now. We stand in the gap. Forgive us, Lord. For the greed of money. There's nothing wrong with money, but the love of money, that's where people take it too far. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But all these financial sins, ill-gotten gains, mm -hmm. land grabs, mm -hmm. corruption in the government, and even not in the government, any corruption, underhanded deals be covered all in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you for your plans and purposes in Chesapeake, Virginia. We repent right now, Father God, for any sin known and unknown going yes. all the way back in time regarding this region this area this yeah. land and its peoples of chesapeake virginia the state of virginia whether it's financial relational mm -hmm. yes lord. whatever all aspects thank you we repent lord. yes and that lord jesus christ you were covered all with your blood 
and that it all be erased as far as the east and as far as the west, mm -hmm. and the books in heaven for the state of Virginia and Chesapeake, Virginia, be reconciled back in to perfect divine order by the blood of Jesus Christ. And if there's any destiny books regarding the city of Chesapeake, the state of Virginia, and your plans, Father God, that were stolen by the enemy, that they would be returned back right now. And Father God, that you would, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, you would, Father God, receive those back. And Father, as we, be, we prepare to take communion and get the land cleansed, we ask that King Jesus would intercede for this city, intercede for this, the people of this city of Chesapeake, Virginia, intercede for this, beautiful uh, region here, Lord, that it will uh, be what you always wanted it to be, Father, and nothing will come against that. King Jesus, you would re-intercede. Your blood, King Jesus, would intercede. That the Chesapeake, Virginia, the state of Virginia will be like your daughters, like the ten wise virgins with their oil lamps filled with the Holy Spirit shining the light of Christ, awaiting the bridegroom. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Anything you want to pray, Pastor Gino? I do. It's I'm here in holiness. So in the name of Jesus, I just call forth holiness to come upon this holiness. city. Holiness yes. to come upon this state. And this is not like a religious holiness, but just it's 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 him. His presence of holiness and Hallelujah. love to come upon this area, uh, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, yes, Virginia. Yeah. Hallelujah. This Thank holiness you, of love and respect. Mm -hmm. Harmony. It, yes, harmony and unity. Unity. Yes, let it drop now. Let it drop now. Mm -hmm. Let it Thank drop you, now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we come before your heavenly court on behalf of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia, and everyone here is touching and agreeing, and Pastor Gino and I, we believe it will be done for us right now. And we thank you for your favor in the court and all these sins that we confess today, and even the sins known and unknown that King Jesus is confessing on our behalf. Father God, that all these sins are now washed away, erased, uh, no longer remembered for our sake and yours, for the sake of this city and this state, Father God, that the books in heaven will be reconciled, uh, Father God, back into your divine order, and that the blood of Jesus Christ would begin to speak over this city and over this state. And as we prepare to take communion and pour the blood of Jesus, we believe by faith right now that the blood of Jesus Christ will redeem this land, sanctify it, make it holy back to God, and silence the voice of the accuser and release the land of all curses. And therefore, when the curse is causeless, it cannot light. No curse can come against this city or this state. No homelessness, no suicides, no broken families, no poverty, that will all be broken off. No unbelief. No, nope, no unbelief. No confusion, no discord, nope. that will all be broken off. No more greed. Yes, and, and, and Father God, if there's anything left, if there's anything left, we, we thank you. Actually, we, we, we kind of look down on it a little bit, but we thank you for exposure. It is through exposure that the enemy yes, is exposed. Yes. But exposure and uh, it's the shakings. What does that tell us? It tells us where we need to heal. Yes. That's where we need to heal. And healing can take place only after exposure. Mm -hmm. And people can come from the dark back into the light. Amen. So we just thank you, Lord, for exposure. Great awakening. Great awakening. Great shakening. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And here is our communion. And we're going to get ready to, uh, here's our bread, and we're going to get ready for the communion. I'm going to go and dig a little hole underneath this oak tree to prepare. You want me to hold the camera?
Okay, we're gonna be ready to pour this into the soil and also add the bread, the communion, the oil, and we're going to add honey as a prophetic act of faith. Okay, so Pastor Gino and I, we're going to pray over the communion. We're gonna pray over the bread and uh, Jesus broke the bread. That's a lot. And we're gonna decree and declare that the breaking of the bread is the renting open of the hearts of the people here to receive the king of glory every heart of stone will now have a heart of flesh mm -hmm. and be opened up to receive the king of glory to receive king jesus so pa pastor gino is going to pray over the communion and bless it okay hallelujah lord we just come before you in the unity we thank you lord hallelujah we thank you so much we no, have to come a little closer oh. so they can hear us. Can you hear us okay? If there might be people taking communion with us. Okay. Yes, we just bless this communion. We bless these elements in Jesus' name. We bless them. Let these elements be holy just as you are yes, holy, Lord. Lord. These are truly blessed elements right here, right now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We believe that this is the blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That was shed for us. Yes. We yes. believe it's a the, the shedding of the blood of King Jesus, the body and blood of Jesus is a legal transaction in the heavens and the earth. It is. That defeated Satan and defeated all evil. We believe by applying of the blood of Jesus Christ and the bread and the bread of life that all the works of Satan are defeated. And that when the blood is applied everywhere that the blood of Jesus Christ and the bread, the communion, it holds the power of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Supernatural redeeming power. And anywhere this touches, it is redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Out of the hand of the devil, back into the hand of God, and now set aside for the plans and purposes of God. That this land will be healed, sanctified, and made holy back to God by the blood of Jesus. So we're each gonna take a sip. If you are taking communion with us in agreement, we're gonna take we're gonna take a bite of the bread and a sip of the cup, and then we're gonna put the rest of our bread and um, the rest of our communion into the land to partake of the body and blood of Jesus Christ and the soil will drink deeply and be fed the bread of life, amen? Okay, so go ahead and pray over our communion and then we'll get a piece and some the soil. Yes, we just honor you, Lord Jesus. We just, we just thank you. Thank you this Jesus. is your body. Yes. This is your body right here. Thank you, Jesus. Christ. We just thank you. By your stripes, we are healed. We yes. were. We always will be healed. Yes, Lord. And we just believe right now, Lord, as we partake of you, and we're gonna take a piece of this. We're gonna bury it, mm -hmm. so the land will be healed as well. In Jesus' name, okay. Hallelujah. So we partake. Mm. It's a big piece. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This was new bread, new I wine. And now we have a sip of our communion. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you for your blood. We just thank you, Lord. You've done this. <clears throat> Got stuck in my throat. Thank you, Lord. We've done this so you can, so we can have eternity with you. Yes, Lord. We're so honored. We thank you for this. Thank you, We God. thank you for this beautiful gift in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You partake of the blood of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus said, remember him this way. Now we're going to pour into the land and we command the land to drink deeply of the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay. This. Trying to get to the back here. Got it. Got it? Okay. Here we go. Okay. We sanctify this land and the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia with the blood of Jesus Christ and the bread and the body of Jesus Christ. We command this land to drink deeply of the blood of Jesus Christ and receive of the bread of life. We proclaim that by the blood of Jesus, 
this land, the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, the state of Virginia, is now sanctified by the body and blood of Jesus Christ, redeemed out of the hand of the devil, back into the hand of God, and set aside for the plans and purposes of God, all for the glory of God, by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Drink deeply of the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now we're going to pour the oil. Let me get the oil. All right, so here we have it. I'm not sure if you can see it on there. Thank you, Lord. Father God, your word says that the anointing breaks the yoke. And with this anointing oil, we proclaim as we pour the anointing into the land here in Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia, that every yoke of bondage, every yoke of slavery, every yoke of sin, every yoke of greed, every yoke of unbelief, every yoke of backwardness, every yoke of poverty, Every yoke that is not of God homelessness. is broke. Every bro yoke of homelessness, mm -hmm. every yoke of suicide and yes, death, there we go. every every yoke of witchcraft, mm -hmm. lies, and sorcery are now broken off. This city of Chesapeake, Virginia, in the state of Virginia, all Freemasonry and secret society is broken off now, off the state of Virginia and the city of Chesapeake. And Father, we c proclaim and decree yes. that the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia is only yoked to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, and his burden is easy and light and joyful. And with this oil, we rededicate and dedicate the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, all the way to its borders, everything in it, everything on it, today and forever to you, Almighty God. And we dedicate the state of Virginia, everything in it, everything on it, all the way to its borders, even to the seas, right now, to you, almighty God. Let the anointing be poured. Let the land receive of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel good. I feel good. Now Hallelujah. we're going to do a prophetic act of faith with the honey. How's everybody doing? Okay. All right. Here goes the honey. Now, the, as I'm leaving the house today, the Lord told me to take this honey, Trump honey. And Trump is from the bloodline of Judah, of King David, that brings forth God's covenants his promises for not just this nation of America, but for Israel, for all of this, us, for King Jesus to sit on the throne of King David of his return. And we shall have the sweet for the bitter. One of the first things Jesus did when he resurrected from the dead in his glorified body was he ate a honeycomb. He had the sweet for the bitter. And we proclaim that the city of Chesapeake, Virginia has the sweet for the bitter. The state of Virginia has the sweet for the bitter. The United States of America and uh, Israel and all of our nations and all of the peoples of God and our children have the sweet for the bitter. And we are blessed up to a thousand generations and we receive of the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit as we come into a time of revival and God hears our sweet cries unto him of worship unto Jesus Christ and so I'm going to pray over this and I thank you Father God for your covenantal promises to Abraham Isaac and Jacob to King David and to through Jesus Christ for all of us because we are in the new covenant one holy covenant uh, through Jesus Christ mm -hmm. right and we partake of the sweetness like Jesus did right and we also bless President Trump and the plans and purposes God has for him President Trump will be here in Chesapeake tomorrow 
uh, and that the this this sweetness of the Holy Spirit, the sweetness that can come into our our land again uh, through good and righteous leaders that God is raising up with His covenantal promise of judah and king david father god you are rebuilding the tabernacle of king david that is a tent revival worshiping like sweet incense unto your nostrils yes. and we speak revival over chesapeake virginia for jesus christ we speak revival over the state of virginia for jesus christ and over our nation so i place this honey uh, and it's jar and everything in the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, release the power of your blood over this honey. Your blood cleanses this honey, honey sanctifies it, makes it holy back to God right now. We say this honey is now holy and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. It represents the sweetness that Jesus Christ tasted after his finished work on the cross into this land. Okay. We're going to drizzle the honey. Woo! Taste and see that the Lord is good. That the land tastes the sweetness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this land proclaim the sweetness of Almighty God. Let every let every heart proclaim. Let every ear hear. Let every ear, let every mouth speak of the sweetness of the Lord God of Israel, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of the sweetness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I just want to speak healing. Yeah, since we're here. Healing. Well, uh, God's been on my heart about this establishment. I just pray that this. I don't know what they're what they're making they're, here. They're reopening a bank that had been this bank had been closed for many many years. Well, we're just praying it's going to be a godly institution that follows your ways, Lord. Yes, Lord. All the way. We just pray, and uh, th the reason we pray this way is here's the thing: anything we do not take, the enemy will. Anything we don't take, the enemy will. So we need to be anywhere and everywhere. Amen. Take a taste of the honey. <laughs> That's okay. Taste and see that the Lord is good, my friends. Taste yes. and see that the Lord is good. We speak blessing, yeah. prosperity, yes. health, wealth over Chesapeake, Virginia for the, the righteous ones and their children. Yes. And we just declare, you know, I know there's all this talk of a new dollar and this and that. But you know what? We're in God's kingdom. Even if it was a famine. We're blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to blow the shofar and we're going to prophesy over Chesapeake, Virginia and over um, this entire state. So let me get this in here. You want me to uh, cover? No. Yes. Okay. So these elements are in the land. Look, I got my dessert fork. There we go. These elements in the land. The Lord of Jesus on Christ shall speak a better word over this city of Chesapeake, Virginia, forever and ever. I'm going to put this little stone here. I'm going to pour a little bit more oil. Jacob was told to pour the oil on the rock and name this place. We named Chesapeake, Virginia, the city of, what should we name it? The city of, the word, the word Chesapeake, you know, when I think about it, yeah. it reminds me of the mountain of the Lord, like Chesapeake, Chesapeake. Like we are, we are seeking the the heart of God in his chest, and we are seeking the mountain of the Lord, those high places for the Lord. So we, we, we keep the name Chesapeake, Virginia, and Virginia Beach, Virginia, and we say that it is completely uh, a, a city that seeks after the heart of God, that seeks 
the high place with God in the glory of God. Yeah, when you break it down like that, it, first thing I think of is John. John sought the heart, chest, the chest, chest of Jesus. Then, yes. Yeah, yes. Chesapeake. Yeah. So let let every let every heart in Chesapeake, Virginia, man, yeah. woman, child, even the babies in the womb, and even those who pass through here, and all the generations thereof, seek the chest of Jesus. Seek the heart of God. And Psalm 24 says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord, the peak of the Lord? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Right? Yeah. And let and put a right spirit within us, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now, I'm going to everybody thanks for thanks for tuning in everyone hang in there we've got a little bit left i have to blow the shofar ask father god to send in his angel armies to take out the powers and principalities and open up the gates of righteousness so pastor Gito, we prophesy right now in the name of our lord jesus christ over chesapeake virginia and over the state of virginia revival for jesus christ come on yes. father god raise yes. up your leaders yes. Yes. Your evangelists, your yes. righteous leaders, your prophets, teachers, evangelists, your five-fold ministries. Father God, in this crossroads of our nation, and a truck just pulled in, an oil truck, filled with fuel, filled with oil. Fuel is faith. And right? we, are we are at the crossroads. We are at the crossroads. We are at the crossroads. And it's truck number 11, which means awakening and witness. And it's a white truck with red letters, meaning... Our, our sins have been cleansed. See, see the timing of God? You see the timing of God? Look at that. Right here. Crossroads, fuel truck, white truck, number 11, 12 and 3. 12 is the perfect government of God. 3 is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Look at that. Talk about confirmation. Yes. Woo! Faith and dunamis power of the Holy Ghost, my friends. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to prophesy. And then I'm going to proclaim Psalm 24 and now, command the gates of righteousness to open up over this city. Yeah, throughout the past four or five years, I think every Christian can come in an agreement that one verse that sticks out that we all agree upon is this one right here, Second Chronicles 7. If my people yes. who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and that's what we're doing now, Lord. We humble ourselves and we seek your face right now. That's what we're doing. And we yes, turn from our wicked ways. We turn yes, from our Lord. wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. He hears us right now. And I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. We just opened the door to revival right here yes, in did. Chesapeake, Virginia. Hallelujah right here right now and some of you might wonder what about me i'm in texas or i'm in minnesota whatever listen you touch an agreement with us fire spreads hallelujah fire spreads hallelujah and you know when you do these land assignments and you get the blood of jesus in the land you command the uh the blood of jesus and the anointing to spread all the way out to the borders of the city and even beyond and speak over everything, you know. And then anybody that's uh, not there to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit in that land, in that region, according to God's word in Matthew chapter 3, verse 10, every single tree, mm. every influence in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and beyond in the state of Virginia that is not there to bear good fruit, according to Matthew chapter 3, verse 10, that is not an influence to bear good fruit in the government. And in the media and in any of the areas of influence, that God will root those unholy, ungodly influences out quickly, expose what they've been hiding, bring justice, and cast those unholy, ungodly influences into the fire. Now, I'm talking about their influence is going to be removed. Okay? And then we ask Father God to replace those areas of influence with Holy Spirit-filled, 
righteous influences. And so we're going to proclaim right now for the gates of righteousness to open yes. over Chesapeake, Virginia and the state of Virginia. And we're going to blow the shofar. Hear ye, hear ye, the heavens and the earth. I decree Psalm 24 over Chesapeake, Virginia and over the state of Virginia. We command the gates of righteousness to open. Yes. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Come in, King of glory. Come in, Lord of hosts. I like the way you just blew that show for in the north, the south, the east, and the west, all the way around, Hallelujah. touching everything. And Father God, with the sound of the shofar, we ask that you would send your heavenly host and your warrior angels yeah. and your horned angels into this land right now to take the gates of this city of Chesapeake, Virginia, to take the gates of this state of Virginia, to take over all the gates, strip the enemy of any influence he had, now that the blood of Jesus Christ is on the sins, Father God, Jesus Christ has all dominion over the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia, and over all the gates, spiritual and the natural. And let your angel armies come now, Father God, and take dominion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now all powers and principalities can be removed out and away. Yes, the state hallelujah. of Virginia and yes, the city of Chesapeake, Chesapeake, Virginia, because the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking a better word and has all dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I just declare that the floodgates are open. People Woo! are running back into the church. They're running back for hallelujah. Christ. Um, this is this is going to be the greatest time for discipleship. It's not enough just to accept Jesus. That's the beginning. It just starts there need discipleship discipleship arise mm -hmm. in this nation mm -hmm. from this city and from uh every state yeah. every every land yeah and father god we bless you today we are grateful and worship you today father god for opening up your courts of heaven on our behalf today and everyone is touching and agreeing and king jesus if there is anything that we forgot today that we would be under grace and mercy and that your blood would speak and you would speak Whatever we forgot, and you would cover that, King Jesus, and your blood would cover that, King Jesus. We are in faithful expectation of signs, wonders, miracles, praise reports from the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, from the people of Chesapeake, Virginia, and from the state of Virginia and beyond. And Father God, we bless Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father God, that even those people who are Jewish people here in the uh, area of Chesapeake, Virginia, and the state of Virginia, that they will come to know Jesus Christ as Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, as their Messiah. And any person who does not know Jesus Christ that lives in the state of Virginia, any person that's running away from Jesus Christ in the state of Virginia and beyond, right now, King Jesus, we ask that you would give them a visitation and you would reveal yourself to them. And Holy Spirit, you would convict them and bring them to their knees in repentance, a free gift for all of us, Father God. And these people who have been running away from you, Lord, I do not know you, Lord, that they become fully and completely into their identity of Jesus Christ, that these cities and these states and these nations come fully and completely in their identity in Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to pray in your heavenly courts. We thank you, Father God, that now because of the blood of Jesus Christ and the words that were spoken here today and the intercession of Jesus Christ, that the books have been reconciled in the courts of heaven for this beautiful city of Chesapeake and the state of Virginia. We thank you, Father God, for your cloud of witnesses that are there cheering us on. And Father, through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, by the authority of Jesus Christ, by your angels on assignment, Father God, that you would 
command, Father God, to now that the blessings can be carried out and brought forth. Your plans and purposes can be carried out and brought forth into Chesapeake, Virginia, into the state of Virginia, and upon your people, and even those in the womb. And Father God, that you would give full and complete restitution to the city of Chesapeake and the state of Virginia for anything that the enemy has stolen. Give it to... I'm thinking about my daughter's friend. Mm -hmm. Who? They worked at that McDonald's across the street. His name was Connor. 18 years old, he committed suicide four years ago. He felt rejected. He couldn't get that rejection out of his mind. Father God, I ask you for any children that were taken from us through suicide or abortion or sickness, anything that the enemy took from our families and our children, we would have complete and total restitution. We would have the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness that Connor's life with being lost will not be in vain and that, Father God, you would raise up another young man, Connor's age, to fulfill what you called Connor to be and Connor to do, that our children that are on the earth today and even the babies that are being born, for every child that was taken by suicide, sickness, abortion, Father God, yes. that their purposes will still go forth in the earth through the children that are alive in the earth today. And that your word will not reach your void. It'll prosper for what it is said. And your plans and purposes will be fulfilled through us and our children. And our children's children. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Yes, it's very important to, to share this broadcast. Share it up. Share it to uh, young ones and older ones. Share them. Because people need, believe it or not, people don't know. People get stuck. They're by them. You know, when you close your front door, you're in your house all alone. But people need to know that like there you. is God. God is for them. He's not against them. That's right. I know it's it's elementary, but there's people out there they don't know. Yes. And our children are completely healed mm -hmm. from the works of the enemy. King Jesus, we just invite you to go back into time. I just saw an old timey red truck go by. Mm -hmm. And I just ask King Jesus that you would go back in time in the city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and all of the state of Virginia. Go back in time and redeem all the hurt, all the trauma, all the pain, all the sorrow, all the loss. You go back and redeem it and bring it back to us, Lord, in double portion, that our children will rebuild, build up the waste places, that we will have an Isaiah 61 generation here in Virginia and in Chesapeake, Virginia and beyond. And I just thank you, Lord, for your beautiful promises. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for everyone here today that was praying with us. We thank you, Lord. We believe by faith that your angels are carrying this out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, is there anything else that you feel we need to pray, Pastor Gino? I'm going to take kind of a look at the clouds and see. We've asked the Lord for an open heaven. Is there anything else that you feel we need to pray as we... Uh, just finish up our prayer. No, I think we covered it. It's almost uh, time for me to get out of here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we, we covered it. Uh, I'd like yes. to thank each and every one of you that, that are here. Yes. I saw someone from North Carolina. Yeah, I was there in North Carolina. Uh, I saw South Carolina on there as well. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, this is truly a blessing. Yes. This is, this is, it's a blessing to pray and to stand in a gap with the Lord yes. and with, with all of you, you, every single one of you are, you're a part of this too. Yes, sure. Wherever two or more, we're two or more. Jesus is with us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And you know, uh, I see the Sunoco sign and it used to mean I was at a NASCAR race. <laughs> if I saw the Sunoco sign like that, it used to mean I was at a NASCAR race and now I'm running the race for Jesus. And remember, the scriptures say, and the son of righteousness comes with healing in his wings and in his beams. And he brings joy to us. And we are like calves let out of the stall, running and leaping for joy. 
Let the sun of righteousness come upon this place. And I'm just going to look at the sky. Just look around here. We've got, uh, we asked for the heavenly host to come in. Let's see. We're just going to look around here. Woo, the gold truck, the glory, the gold truck with the glory, the oak trees. Hallelujah. We're going to look around and see what the Lord is speaking here. A lot of white cars, a lot of white vehicles represent the angels of the Lord. We've got Learning and Child Care Center, Kids, Kids College. The angels of the Lord are here protecting the children. And look at that cloud right there. There we go, right there. The light coming behind it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We bless all of you for being here. And uh, just remember, all of heaven is cheering us on. And it's time for us to go and be the handsome feet and occupy for Jesus Christ, getting the land redeemed. And I just want to thank the Lord for showing this, this beautiful oak tree. And right here, forever, the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking. So we bless you all. Yes. God bless you. God bless America. And until next time, yeah. all of heaven is cheering them on. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.